Hello? Who's speaking? Adam Devaskar? There are no Adams here. Usha Devaskar. Oh, why don't you say Miss Devaskar then? I'm an impudent person. You want to know who I am? I'm her brother. They call me Sham. Any objection? He's asking what objections mean. This short sample is from the play Tuzhe Ahe Tuzapashi or You Have Everything Within You. And from this short sample, you may have perhaps guessed that this play has been written by P.L. Deshpande. Today, in the 39th episode of Granth Yatra, we are going to get acquainted with this play. A warm welcome to all the viewers. P.L. Deshpande is quite well known to readers even outside of Maharashtra. He was such a versatile writer that he skillfully handled many different forms of writing. Deshpande was born in Mumbai in the year 1919. After completing his schooling in Mumbai, he obtained his higher education from the Ferguson College in Pune and the Willingdon College in Sangli. After a short stint at a regular job, he worked in cinema, All India Radio and the state television. He contributed in several ways to popular films such as Vande Mataram, Dood Bhat and Gulaza Ganpati. Deshpande handled several forms of writing in the field of literature. He wrote nearly 40 books. More than 20 editions of his books such as Batate Chita, Asami Asami and Vyakti Ani Valli were sold out. His books of humor such as Khogir Bharti, Purchundi, Nasti Uthathev, Gola Berries and Hasanuk also became very famous and their editions broke records. Deshpande traveled to many countries and he documented his travel experiences in an engaging humorous style in books such as Purvaranga, Apurvai and Zave Tyancha Desha. His plays such as Varyavarchi Varat, Tuzhe Ahe Tuzha Pashi, Amaldar, Sundar Mi Honar and Teen Paisha Cha Tamasha became very famous. Biographies, translations of famous English books, monologues and poetry reading sessions were some of the other activities that he indulged in. Deshpande wrote the play Tuzhe Ahe Tuzha Pashi in the year 1957. This play that keeps the attention of the viewers riveted from the beginning to the end is enacted in the mansion of the late Bapuji Devaskar in the town of Devas. Its present occupant Kakaji Devaskar is a retired forest officer. He is a friendly and happy person who enjoys his life to the fullest. His servants Vasu Anna, Bhiku the gardener and Jagannath the driver and their ancestors have been serving the Devaskar family for many generations. In fact, they are more like family members and join Kakaji in quoting excerpts from poems and do not hesitate to make suggestions when he is playing the game of chess. Vasu Anna and Kakaji even pull each other's legs. Look at this scene. Vasu Anna That's how you lost all your wealth being engrossed in poetry kaka ji so what my dear who cares but you won't understand after all your family has produced only clerks all these years you and the likes of you are now building houses of your own you are content eating boiled rice with spicy lentils in the morning and boiled lentils with spicy rice in the evenings and then you save every penny and then build a small house at deccan gymkhana and name it success cottage or something similar that's the end of your ambition kaka ji's nephew sham is studying engineering in the final year of his college he is a pure hearted sincere person with a genial personality his sister usha is obsessed with idealism she believes that any personal happiness is an impediment in the duty towards the nation which is why she has refused dr satish's marriage proposal satish is a medical doctor by profession and very jolly by nature he has been waiting 8 years for usha to change her mind when usha and satish accidentally meet at usha's home she formally enquires after his clinic to tease her he deliberately mentions the nurse at his clinic as expected usha gets jealous Usha a nurse Satish Yes her name is Sushila she is very nice Usha really Satish 
If you said that really, as a matter of fact, I have no objection. Usha, what do you mean? Satish, when a doctor praises a nurse, the listeners sometimes derive a different meaning. Usha, really? Satish, no, my dear, there is no such thing. Sushila is 50 years old. Her son-in-law dispenses medicines at our clinic. Usha, I never asked for these details. What was the need to give me all this information? The lives of all these characters turn upside down when Pofre Master or Acharya arrives from Pune to give a lecture at a camp organized by Usha. Vasu Anna ends up running from pillar to post to arrange the items demanded by Pofre Master such as butter made from cow's milk, honey and hand pounded rice. Soon after he arrives, the Acharya gets mad at Usha for no one reaches the railway station on time to receive him. Under Acharya's influence, Shyam decides to give up his engineering course and devote his life to spirituality. But the Acharya is accompanied by his adopted daughter Geeta. How Shyam and Usha get disillusioned after listening to Geeta's life story? What reward does Dr. Satish receive for his patience and his love for Usha? And what realization dawns on Acharya himself is worth reading in the original. Deshpande criticized the unnecessary social customs, pretense, deception and outdated moral values through his plays. Even in the play Tuzhe Ahe Tuzapashi, he uses humor to attack a particular extreme belief that was prevalent during the freedom movement in India. In a playful manner, he criticized the people who tried to impose their views and their way of life on others in the belief that it was superior to others. In this play, the Acharya is in the habit of commenting on the behavior of others. He does not give up any opportunity to lecture others. He also expects Gita to note down his words of wisdom as soon as he utters them. People in this nation, from young children to mature adults, are in the habit of making irresponsible statements. Sentences such as these are the staple of the Acharya's preaching. Once, this leads to a funny incident. Gita's pen runs out of ink while she is taking notes of the Acharya's lecture. The Acharya keeps repeating his words as long as Gita keeps shaking her pen to make it right again. In the same manner, Deshpande also comments on the members of the younger generation such as Shyam and Usha who destroy the lives of others under the false illusion of misplaced ideals. Through his play, Deshpande highlights the difference between true spirituality and its pretense. As Kakaji in this play says, this is what happens when one swallows tablets that one can't digest whether those tablets are of the service to the nation or of drugs. Precise, subtle, select and pleasant humor is an important characteristic of Deshpande's writings. He carried forward the legacy of humor started in Marathi by writers such as Shripat Krishna Kolatkar and Prahlad Keshavatri. He made humor more subtle, discerning, artistic and modern. The play Tuzhe Ahe Tuzapashi has the following dialogue between the Acharya and Shyam when Gita enters wearing a beautiful sari gifted by Usha instead of her usual white attire. Acharya, Shyam, what is the meaning of all this? Shyam, now what shall I say Acharya to Gita? Where is my sister Usha? Gita, she is not feeling well, so she is lying down in her room. Shyam, she is a little under weather. Acharya, what's wrong with her? Just a while ago, she was playing with that book and using it as a ball. Is this a home or a madhouse? Geeta, come here. Shyam, no, no, it's not her fault. It's all my mistake. Acharya, that's what I thought. Geeta, he is not at all responsible. Shyam, why do you say that, Gita? Why did I succumb to this temptation? Acharya, I have been trying very hard for the past 10 days, but I have totally failed to conquer my mind. I gave up tea, cigarettes, clothes, I mean 
good clothes at your suggestion i have been going around wearing these clothes my prayers continue morning evening and night as soon as a bad thought enters my mind i take a cold shower i just threw away that statue that used to stand here i never gave it a second glance earlier but ever since i decided to conquer my mind i realized its horrendous nature i am telling you the truth acharya i have no other thought than geeta acharya what sham but acharya let me tell you the truth geeta will you please leave us alone i want to tell a little truth to the acharya acharya why are you asking her to leave sham because i can't tell this truth in her presence acharya a truth that cannot be told in her presence a truth that cannot be told in his presence who told you that the truth has such different versions sham i just thought so on my own anyway acharya if you promise not to get angry i'll tell the truth acharya one who pursues truth should always be fearless even if i get angry or even if you believe that i may burn you alive and reduce you to ashes you should not be afraid to tell the truth sham but then how is it even possible for you to get angry acharya but why is it not possible if it is something to get angry about i will certainly get angry sham but you always say that anger leads to confusion confusion causes loss of intellect and then it's the end acharya all right whatever truth you want to tell me tell it the other characteristic of deshpande's writing is that his humor does not sting along with the shortcomings in life he is also aware of its sorrows he depicts the sorrows of geeta who always lives according to the wishes of others because the world expects her to sacrifice her happiness for the country as she is the daughter of a freedom fighter and the sorrow of acharya who is forever caught in a peculiar predicament having once participated in the struggle for freedom even during guffaws of laughter deshpande's humor softly touches the tears too that is what makes his humor great To tell us more about this play, we have with us today Professor Tushar Chandwadkar. Namaskar. Pula Deshpande, अर्थात महाराष्ट्र के लाडके व्यक्ति मंत्रों. Pula Deshpande ने अपने पृथ्वी पर उनके अधर्म और साहित्य रूपी निर्माण के लिए या तुझे आए हुए तुझे पास ही ये नाट्य रूपी संगीता है. ज्या नाटकाने पुल देशपांडे की एक प्रतिभा संपन्न नाटककार मन प्रतिमा उभी समावेश हो दशक सर्वतान गाजले नाटक देखी संदर्भ दयाटकाबल नाट्य समीक्षक अभ्यास विभा देशपांडे एक महत्व संदर्भ संगता तो ज्यादा कभी साहित्य कृति यशस्वी होते नाट्य कृति यशस्वी होते तो आशया कंतर शैली चाटक कि साहित्य कृति देने का तो लेखक नाटककार प्रयत्न करो तो आवड़ता बाहर पड़ता नहीं परंतु कुलनी नहीं तुझे आई तुझे पाशी या नाटका अभूतपूर्व यशान मगनी तसा पुरवा हा विचार न करता कुलनी त्यानंतर जी जी नाटक है ती वे तंत्रा ने लिखी हे पुल एक वेगपन यठिका नमूद करावत दुसर मे हाटका प्रस्तावने में पुलानी दोन गोष्टी मानले नाटक पत्र वेशभूषा करता को ही हयात कि मृत अशा प्रसिद्ध व्यक्ति से साधर्म्य दिसे अभी वेशभूषा टाला विशेषतः आचार वेशभूषा रंगभूषे सन्दर्भ में सूचना कराई होती दुसर मे पदर के समाज घलू नए अभिनेत कलाकार मुद्दे अतिशय महत्व के जाती कि नाटक बगता लोक कुछ प्रतिमा डोर आू शकता एक अतिशय जी खबरदारी जी एक सामाजिक संवेदना जपने च काम नाटककार काम पुलानी नाटक के लोकान ये कल्पना होती आचार्य को 
अजून या नाटकाबद्दल आपल्याला सांगता येतं की या नाटककाराचं आणि या नाटकाचं यश कुठे आहे तर याच्यातील प्रयोग क्षमता निर्णयाकारणांनी या नाटकाने ना, प्रेक्षकांना दाद मिळवणारी या नाटकाची क्षमता त्याच्यातील संवाद भाषा विनोद आणि व्यक्तिरेखांच्या व्यक्तिरेखांनी निर्मिलेले असं कलात्मक आव्हान आणि आव्हान ह्या सर्व गोष्टींमुळे हे नाटक अतिशय यशस्वी नाट्यकृती म्हणून या नाटकाकडे आपल्याला पाहावं लागतं Deshpande uses different types of humor in this play. Humor arising out of his trademark word play is scattered throughout the dialogues. In addition, he makes skillful use of situational comedy and satire. In the opening scene of the play, Shyam and Vasu Anna are preparing to visit the railway station to receive the acharya, but they are repeatedly stopped from leaving by the ringing of the telephone. One after the other, the callers keep inquiring if the acharya has arrived. Shyam is tormented by these incessant calls. Every time he tries to step out of the house, the telephone rings. The viewers are in splits with laughter as they watch his agitation. Another funny episode is when the office bearers of the very large women's club visit to invite the acharya for a lecture at their club. but they are unable to find a suitable date for the lecture as their diaries are full with events such as the song and dance performances card games and hair styling competition deshpande comments on the so called upper class society who believes that a spiritual lecture is also a form of entertainment i hope you will read this play adorned with mild humor and crisp dialogue in the next episode of granta yatra we shall meet a poet who expressed hope and positivity through his writings until then keep reading